a friend of mine is coming from Ghana. He he used to be my teammate. Oh, somebody has taken my spot, so I'll take this spot. All a lie. They will scam you by the time you realize. You think that oh, scamming is just in Africa. Shit. There are people here who want just your small bags to chop. It's, it's like they are just trying to be clever so that they can sell off the castle. So, you know, when I got there, the lady was asking me, "Did you really buy this car for four hundred fifty dollars?" And that you had there, there's a form where you have to explain why you had the car for such a low price. The guy coming is going to pass by me because I'm driving too slow for him. These Americans, they can drive at any speed limit. Are you that a foreigner? You have to be very very careful with the, the rules. I just uh, went to the Department of Transport to go get my, my number plate. So before that I was using someone else's number plate and then you have you have just a short time to use it before you are able to you know uh, change. So I drove about five miles, five to seven miles to the department to go. Now uh, let me briefly talk about some of the first things you need to do when you come to America as an international student, okay? Uh, you, you want to be sure you are getting your, uh, your social security number. is the very most important thing you need to do because without it, you can't even work as a graduate research assistant. Any work authorization demands that you have your social security number. And like I said in my other video, it's one, one number that you don't want to have it available in the public. Okay, it should always be, uh, should always be something that is kept secret. Usually, if you are going to reveal it, it should, it, it should be revealed to financial services like a bank or a legal financial institution. Those are the institutions that should have your uh, social security number. So make sure you have it. And uh, some of you are coming with 20 hours of work, 20 hours of uh, work authorization. So you're a graduate research assistant and you have to work for 20 hours. And some also have to work for 10 hours. Myself, I had to work for 10 hours. That is my agreement. That means that the extra 10 hours that I have, I can't be sleeping and watching movies or just doing books with it. I also have to get myself out there and go and find some work. So, that is what I did. I went to the dining center. I'll be sharing you another, with you in another video uh, how how to balance academic work and you know, work life. Right? Both are work, but one is academic and one is an employment thing. So, currently I'm going home. I don't really have much to do today except for the fact that I have to go to work. Except for the fact that I have to go to work at four. Like I said, you have to find extra job to do. It's not all about work. When you come here, you must make sure that you are also, you are also working. Okay, it's going, let's go. Let's make sure you are working as well. So, I would start at 4 p.m., close at 9, and then, uh, so this morning I was just supposed to go and do my number plate thing, and then be done with that registration. Yeah, so I have to prepare myself. I also have some assignments to do. It's not easy trying to balance academic work and work life. It's not easy. And then if you plan your time well, if you apportion your study time well, you'll be able to do it. It shouldn't be something that is so You know what? I was supposed to turn right. I wasn't even looking at the map. And it would redirect me then. First things first, get your social security number. Uh, work authorization letter from your department. Make sure you also visit your international student's office. And then, uh, from there, they will teach you what to do. You also have to open a bank account. Either you're open with Chase, US Bank, or Fargo. There are so many other banks that actually open an account with. Yeah. yeah so you know when I got there the lady was asking me did you really buy this car for $450 and that you had there, there's a form 
where you have to explain why you had the car for such a low price. You have to explain on that phone. But sometimes the prices are too good to be true. Someone will come there and then the sky is like $200. They're like, how on earth did you get a $200 car? <laughs> so explain yourself. And so I had to explain myself. As for this place, it has a lot of speed limits that you have to observe. I was telling you about some shit. The guy coming is going to pass by me. Because I'm driving too slow for him. These are Americans. You can drive at any speed limit. Are you that a foreigner? You have to be very, very careful with the, the rules. You don't want to be stopped and then Charlie. You find out that you cry, you just keep. You are misbehaving on the road. So I just try as much as possible to be very, very cautious with the way I drive and the speed limit. Once I see I'm going above, I have to reduce. Yeah, so I have to reduce and Charlie. DG. <laughs> also, you just came. This game so challenging. Yeah, let's talk about how to find some of these good deals. Um, when you go to places like Facebook Marketplace, you can get a good deal. Um, you have you just have to. I think a lot of people don't use Facebook Marketplace in Ghana because we are used to using GG, uh, Tonaton, and all that. Yeah, I know they sell cars in all those places, but when you come here, one of the things that are, are mostly used, or one of the sites that is mostly used, that was my, my heater, I was making noise, is uh, Facebook Marketplace. When you go there, you'd have to filter the car prices that you want. So, you filter, maybe if it's $1,000, if that's your budget, you, you, uh, you filter the price, and then you see different cars, you check the mileage, you check the year, and then see whether you like it okay because it's not every let me move to the other side it's not every uh car that you want to buy and then some of them they have hidden faults that's the, the that's one thing i don't like about people selling cars on facebook marketplace some of them have hidden faults uh let me move here again they will not tell you and they say, oh, the car runs fine, blah, 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 Charlie. By the time you start the car, you can drive it for one or two days and the title just surprise you. Because some of them hide the thing. It's, it's like they're just trying to be clever so that they can sell off the car so quick. There are people who are no longer using the cars that they have, like mine, for instance. And then the person wanted to give it out, okay, because she uses a new car. It's a lady. So it was cheap for me, but if you go, the best thing I feel like you should just befriend people, Americans who are here, and try and get good deals from them because they will give you the best deals and they are going to be really genuine with you and tell you what is wrong with the car. But then, if you are buying cars from someone you don't know, it's a little bit sketchy. It can be sketchy. That's the truth. It can be sketchy. Uh, I think I'm, I might have to turn to the right. I have to move to the right on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can be sketchy. So, you want to be very, very careful. And there are some scammers who use eBay. They'll send you an eBay link. They are buying on Facebook. But they will send you an eBay link, actually. That is where the car is. You have to send money so that they ship it to you. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. They will scam you by the time you realize. You think that, oh, scamming is just in Africa. Sure. There are people here who want just your small bags to chop. So you have to be very, very, very careful. I'm almost home. Yeah, so grad school, Charlie, you know, they ground like that. Though. I used to think that, oh, grad school, yeah, oh, it's just, it will be just like an undergrad. But you come here and then you are reading papers articles break down articles blah 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 Charlie almost every class will give you a paper to go and review so this side when you curve you now have to come this way okay you don't just curve into the second lane you have to enter the first lane and then you move to the left yeah so they will tell you you'll be given articles to read let me hurry up and cross 
and you have to signal 100 feet before the turn. Yeah, Charlie, so every time you have to be learning, but at the same time, you have to try and have fun. Try and have fun because we, we have the wellness center. One day, I'll just go there and take a video of the place for you to see. You can go and climb rocks. You can, uh, you can play soccer, indoor soccer. You can also play basketball. Most of the time, people are playing basketball. As for Americans and their basketball. So... So I'm home, Charlie. This is the place. Home sweet home. So I'll show you um, the wellness center. Wellman Wellness Center. That's where my professor goes. He says he goes to jog and all that. <laughs> so he was asking me whether I've seen him there before. I said, nah, I haven't seen him. Sometimes I go and use a treadmill. I mean, you can enjoy yourself over there. So this is America, guys. Uh, those watching, you have to tend in your applications. Hurry up and come. And let's let's boil in town. Uh, a, a friend of mine is coming from Ghana. He he used to be my church mate. Oh, somebody has taken my spot, so I'll take this spot. He used to be my my church mate. Okay. Um, I have to reverse a bit. But now he's coming here, and I'm very very glad. I want him to come so that we go and chat. Yeah, so home sweet home. I'm here and then I'll, I'll have to turn the thing off. So, uh, we'll talk on my Telegram page. If you're not there yet, kindly join. Kindly join and, and let's have a chat. One thing I believe is that you always have to try and learn from people who have results. Every day, for me, every day, I just, I just wake up and I listen to people that I know have results. My car is not straightened. Anyway. Yeah, I just try as much as possible to learn from people who have results because that is the only way you also are able to replicate their results. In one of my classes, risk analysis class, the, the professor teaches us to replicate results of papers. You give a paper and then you say that based on the economic uh, results that the person had, you should be able to replicate the same paper and then have similar results. You might not get the same thing because sometimes you run simulations and all that, but be able to repl replicate the article yeah so that's how that's how it works right i believe that in life we all should also move at our own pace um one of the reasons why i started this channel was to show people the the actual happenings on the ground because i feel like most times we just cover inquiries uh, to professors how to apply to school but then when people come here, sometimes they are lost. They, they don't have direction on where to go first. So I feel like if I start a channel and I touch on all those things, um, I'll be able to help people find their footing when they come to America. Because it's not easy to receive direction when you come fresh. There's literally nobody to help you. And sometimes the Ghanaian community here, they are very friendly. But sometimes people are too busy to be able to direct you everywhere. So if you have, if you have a, a distant brother on the channel, I could be giving you some counsel, yeah, so that you can also find your feet and help the next person. At the end of the day, we are all trying to find a better place to live. We are trying to find uh, where conditions are good for us to really thrive. You know, I was in Ghana. I was trying to even save to buy an Uber and start uh, working because I, I couldn't find a job for like five years. But when I came here, in nine weeks, I have my car. I can do Uber if I want. Why? Because the system is working and the system provides you with certain financial uh, capabilities. For instance, you know, people, I know people are saying that I bought this car with a credit card. It's all cash. But I'm trying to say that when you come here, you also have access to credit card that gives you $2,000 to use. But if you are someone who is keen on building your credit, you don't want to use all the 2000 dollars you have to spend maximum 30 percent of what's on your card so that you have high credit score if you have high credit score you're able to borrow more money okay so everything here too is also borrowed credit credit is is money money is credit okay hardly do people use debit and if you are if you are in trouble 
if you are in trouble and you don't have money and you have your credit card on you you are able to simply use it all right so that is life in america i feel like if you are prudent financially you'll be able to survive be smart don't spend anyhow limit the way you 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 chill yes i know you are in america you want to go to chicago you want to go to florida miami and and let your friends know that Charlie, you are chilling you are traveling and, and all that but be wise in in how you spend money be wise in how you spend money and cut down on buying junk food every day you have to cook more often i buy mcdonald's i buy uh food from other places but it's not all the time why because you have to save money and put it in areas where you can gain assets and those assets will continuously reap money for you so i'll not talk much um i have to just go and prepare to work at four but before that what's the time i think it's 11 35 let me see. Is it eleven thirty-five? Twelve thirty-five. Oh, it's twelve. All right. All right. So due to daylight savings, you moved ahead by one hour. You moved ahead by one hour. So I have to go and uh, prepare academically, go and replicate some results in advanced econometrics. All right. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Um, you can subscribe if you want more. Uh, we're going to talk more. I feel like if you 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 find value on the channel there's no need for me to tell you to subscribe <laughs> yeah anyway. all right so have a good day we'll talk